Welcome back, everyone. We are certainly going to see a little change in the landscape overnight tonight as we've had a lot of time this winter with just the grass showing, not a lot of snow on the ground. But for those that don't have any snowpack, we'll be adding a little bit more over the next few hours. That's snow arriving between about 6 and 9 o'clock from west to east this evening. But our steadiest snow will be right smack dab in the middle of the night. It's fluffy. It's easy to move around. Widespread several inches of snowfall here. You can use a leaf blower or a broom in many spots tomorrow morning. But it will be slippery out there for the morning commute. No wind or coastal concerns with this one. We have winter weather advisories are out across most of the region, even though they're not in place across New Hampshire, you'll be getting some light snow as well. There's a look at it sliding down out of the Great Lakes region. Definitely not a powerhouse storm, but it's enough to bring some snow down into our area. In fact, some of the higher totals will be right across Massachusetts. So here's a look at the radar tonight. Looks like it's snowing in many spots, but in reality, it's some flurries around the Hudson area in Worcester and down towards Southbridge, maybe seeing some lighter snowfall, steadier light snow, but the air is incredibly dry. We had dew points as low as 15 below zero this afternoon. They're starting to come up a little bit as those snowflakes fall and evaporate, they start to saturate the atmosphere a little bit more. So we'll see the snow eventually start to increase. Temperatures in the teens and 20s across the area, that's where we'll stay all night. As we approach 7 to 8 o'clock, we're starting to see more of that steady light snowfall. And then it really just fills in right in the middle of the night and begins to taper off around 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. Where there'll still be a little bit of lingering light snow in the morning hours, we'll be across the south shore to Cape Cod and the islands. A little onshore flow will keep the clouds and the snowflakes in the air there. And high temperatures just reaching the low 30s tomorrow afternoon. So not a whole lot of melting taking place, but a little bit. Take a look at our totals. Most getting three to five inches of total snow out of this. Again, very powdery stuff. A little bit less toward Connecticut as well as farther north across northern and central New England. No ice, no mixing, no wind gusts, no coastal concerns. This is a snow globe type of situation overnight tonight. So tomorrow morning, still some light coastal snow and very chilly, but without the wind. And then at midday, some partial sunshine developing. We reach the upper 20s to low 30s, and then skies clear out more as we head toward the evening time frame tomorrow, but not a high impact on the morning. Just watching out for the usual slick spots, upper 20s to low 30s region wide. And then on Friday, we'll see some more significant melting, some upper 30s there, brighter skies, high pressure building over New England. Nice day to be outdoors. Saturday, still some uncertainty as the next storm system approaches. The uncertainty is to whether or not this coastal area of low pressure will be strong enough or close enough to bring us anything more than some scattered rain and snow showers. Right now, the forecast will be more for some scattered areas of rain and wet snowfall with nothing more significant. But we'll have to keep a close eye on it, especially for late in the day on Saturday. The busy pattern continues. Sunday is dry, but by Sunday night, the next storm system is approaching. This one, too, still carries a lot of uncertainty. We've talked a lot about it this week, but we're in the type of pattern where it's one system at a time and taking it one at a time. It's the Belichick of forecasting here. We're on to the team that we're playing. Tonight is the team that we're focusing on to start with. But the weekend temperatures will be close to 40 both days, not terribly cold, fairly average. And if you're heading to the airport, I don't expect a lot of delays with any of these systems, except for maybe on Monday morning. That's the one that we'll be watching most carefully. So there's your full seven day, and behind that Monday system is more cold, upper 20s, around 30 for Tuesday and Wednesday. That's pretty chilly for Monday.